Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the US 192 Improvements Public Meeting. My name is Kevin Powell, and I'm the project manager with the Florida Department of Transportation. During the meeting, we will explain the plan, safety, and operational improvements along US 192 from Bamboo Lane to Main Street. We encourage your input, and there are many ways to provide feedback. All comments and questions will be responded to in writing and will become part of the public meeting record. I will now turn it over to our project team to begin the presentation. This meeting is being conducted in a hybrid format to provide multiple ways for the public to receive information about the project and provide input. This meeting is being conducted in person, virtually through GoToWebinar and over the phone. A copy of the PowerPoint presentation is available on the project webpage at www.cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 448783-1. That's www.cflroads.com forward slash p r o j e c t forward slash four four eight seven eight three dash one the purpose of tonight's meeting is to explain the project goals present the department's recommended improvements to help achieve those goals and hear from the community about the proposed changes this public meeting was advertised and is being conducted in accordance with state and federal requirements, including Title VI of the Civil Rights Act of 1964. Public participation is solicited without regard to race, color, national origin, age, sex, religion, disability, or family status. Persons wishing to express their concerns about Title VI may do so by contacting Melissa McKinney, District 5 Title VI Coordinator, by mail at 719 South Woodland Boulevard, Mail Station. 501 DeLand, Florida 32720 by phone at 386-943-5077 or email melissa.mckinney at dot.state.fl.us. That's M-E-L-I-S-S-A dot M-C-K-I-N-N-E-Y at D-O-T dot S-T-A-T-E dot F-L dot U-S. You may also contact Stefan Kulikowski, State Title VI Coordinator, by mail at 605 Suwannee Street, Mail Station 65, Tallahassee, Florida, 32399-0450, by phone at 850-414-4742 or email at stefan.kulikowski at dot.state.fl.us. That's S-T-E-F-A-N dot K-U-L-A-K-O-W-S-K-I at D-O-T dot S-T-A-T-E dot F-L dot U-S. This information is shown on a sign at the in-person location on the project website and in the meeting notifications. This resurfacing and safety improvements project covers 5.72 miles on US 192 from Bamboo Lane to Main Street in Kissimmee. In addition to repaving this segment of US 192, the project proposes a number of improvements to enhance operations along the corridor, as well as safety for pedestrians and bicyclists. First, let's take a look at US 192 from Bamboo Lane to Hoagland Boulevard. The existing roadway includes three 12 foot wide travel lanes in each direction, four foot wide paved shoulders that can accommodate bicycles, 10 foot wide sidewalks and raised cement, grass or landscaped medians. Improvements in this segment include restriping to make all travel lanes 11 feet wide to accommodate improved 7 foot wide buffered bicycle lanes. The 10 foot wide sidewalks will remain and so will the medians. From Hoagland Boulevard to Main Street, the existing condition includes 11 foot wide inside travel lanes and a 14 foot wide outside travel lane with five foot wide sidewalk on both sides of the roadway. There is also a raised median. There are no bike lanes. 
Proposed improvements being considered from Hoagland Boulevard to Plantation Drive include widening the sidewalks. The westbound side could potentially be widened to 8 feet, while the eastbound side could potentially be widened to 10 feet. The wider sidewalks would accommodate both pedestrians and bicyclists. In this configuration, all travel lanes would be 11 feet wide. The grassy median will remain. The proposed typical section from Plantation Drive to Thacker Avenue would also provide three 11-foot wide travel lanes in each direction. Also under consideration is widening the sidewalk on both sides of the road to 10 feet. The raised median will remain. From Thacker Avenue to the end of the project at Main Street, the project is considering widening the sidewalk on the eastbound side of the road to 8 feet. The 5-foot wide sidewalk on the westbound side remains the same, as does the raised median. Again, the travel lanes will be 11 feet wide to accommodate the improvements. To enhance pedestrian safety, the project proposes adding signalized pedestrian crossings at Club Sevilla, Oren Brown Road, and Rose Avenue. These intersections will be reconstructed with improved bi-directional medians that provide a diagonal crossing pattern across US 192, which reduces the potential conflict areas between pedestrians and turning vehicles. The signals will remain clear for traffic on US 192 unless activated by a pedestrian. The access at these intersections will not change. The improved crossings will include pedestrian signals called pedestrian hybrid beacons or PHBs. PHBs are mounted on a mast arm over a crosswalk. They are dark when no one is crossing. When a pedestrian pushes the button to cross, the PHB flashes yellow to alert drivers a pedestrian wishes to cross the street. The signal will then turn red for motorists to stop vehicles from entering the crosswalk. After providing time to allow pedestrians to cross, the red lights will flash, indicating motorists may proceed if the crosswalk is clear. Also part of this project is a planned new pedestrian mid-block crossing just south of Four Winds Boulevard. This crossing will also include a pedestrian hybrid beacon. Other safety improvements on this project are curb extensions or bulb outs at the intersections of Plaza del Sol, which is shown in the graphic, Armstrong Boulevard, and La Mirada Plaza. The curb extensions help separate turning lanes and encourage safer turning speeds at the intersections. FDOT is also evaluating the addition of pedestrian channelizing fencing in the median at Club Sevilla. The fencing will help direct pedestrians to safer designated crossing areas. This is an example of the fencing which was recently installed along parts of Orange Blossom Trail in Orange County. Design is underway for this project and is anticipated to be complete in late 2024 at an estimated cost of $4.4 million. All work will be done within the existing right-of-way. Construction is expected to begin in early 2025 at an estimated cost of $27.8 million. We encourage your input and feedback about this project and there are multiple ways for you to participate. All public comments and questions are part of the public meeting record and every method for providing public comments and questions carries equal weight. While comments and questions will be accepted at any time, those submitted by August 14th, 11 days after the public meeting, will become part of the project's public meeting record. All comments and questions will be responded to in writing. In-person attendees are encouraged to speak with project team members to ask questions and provide input. To submit a comment for the public meeting record, please complete a printed comment form and return it to project staff. Written comments may also be submitted on the project website at www.cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 448783-1. You may also contact the project manager directly by email at kevin.powell at dot.state.fl.us. That's K E V I N dot P O W E L L at dot dot S T A T E dot F L dot US or by US mail at the Florida Department of Transportation, 719 South Woodland Boulevard, mail station 542, Deland, Florida 32720. You may also call the project manager at 386 943 5425 to provide verbal comments during normal business hours. The contact information is also available on the public meeting notification that you may have received by mail. 
To learn more about this project, go to www.cflroads.com, type the project number 448783-1 in the search box at the top right and click Go. Then click on the project name. Public meeting materials are posted on the website now. On behalf of the Florida Department of Transportation, thank you for attending this public meeting and providing your input on this project. If you have comments or questions after the meeting, please submit them by Monday, August 14, 2023. Have a good evening.